Revishelf has made some major improvements to one of our most popular blind corner organizers, the Curve. This video has been put together to not only illustrate those changes, but to also show you how simple it is to install in not only new construction, but also existing construction cabinetry. So let's get started. We will begin by using our six provided mounting clips and our M4 by 10 screws. Now you want to lightly attach these to the three uprights so that they can actually still slide up and down so we can determine our shelf height. You will need to measure from clip to clip. Now this particular unit actually has a minimum height of 14 and a quarter inches and a maximum height of 16 and a half inches. Next we will take one of our shelves and using our three uprights we're going to go ahead and attach the shelf to the uprights by simply sliding the shelf down onto our clip. Now you want to do this for all three sides and then you will tighten down using your M6 by 16 screw. Once this is firmly attached and tightened down, you're simply going to repeat the same step for your top shelf. Now we will attach our side mounting bracket using our M6 by 16 screw. You will want to mount this bracket on the outside of the curve. Remember to lightly tighten as we will need to adjust. The supply template is designed for three different type of hole locations, inset, face frame, and frameless. Since we're working with a face frame cabinet, we are going to go ahead and cut and remove the face frame template. Now we will take template B and attach it to the inside of the face frame and pre-drill our pilot holes. Using the same clip-to-clip -clip measurement that we used earlier to determine our shelf height is the same measurement we're going to use here to determine our hole locations for our top template. We have completed the inside of the cabinet, now we will move to the side. Using template A, we will pre-drill our pilot holes. Once again, using the same clip-to-clip -clip measurement, you will measure up to determine the second shelf height location and pre-drill your holes. You will notice that your curve is supplied with some Euro screws, but we have actually substituted these with an M5 flathead screw. You will notice the two polymer shelf supports. The one on the left is for inset applications, where the one on the right is for face frame and frameless applications. We're going to go ahead and attach our polymer bracket with our M5 screws and install that into our pre-drilled holes. Now we're ready to actually install our curve into our cabinet. Gently slide in the entire unit, and once installed, you will move it forward to attach to your polymer shelf clips. Using your M6 by 16 screws, you will attach two screws in the top, and then you will simply repeat for the bottom. Again, we're going to replace our Euro screw with our M5 flathead screw. You will slide over the shelf support bracket over to the side of the cabinet and screw in using your pre-drilled holes. And repeat for the bottom shelf. Now that our curve is securely in place, we're going to go ahead and attach the feet to the floor of the cabinet using our M5 flathead screw. Now we will tighten our shelf brackets for the top and the bottom shelf. We are now ready to begin attaching our doors to our curve unit. We will begin by transferring the door mount measurements to the back of our door, and then we will simply attach the door mount brackets with the provided screws. Next, we are going to attach our door mount adjustment screws. There are four of these per door. Now that our brackets are attached, we're ready to attach our door to one of our shelves. You will slide in your tilt adjusting screws into the keyholes and lock into place. Now that both of our doors are attached, you will notice that they are not perfectly aligned. I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and adjust our tilt screws until the door is perfectly aligned. Once those are adjusted to where I need, I will then tighten down the locking screw. If you choose not to door mount your curve, these decorative door mount covers are provided. We're now ready to attach our shelf to our frame. Using the provided clips, you will go ahead and attach in the front clips and then gently slide in your basket attaching to the front and then resting in the back. 
Using your two other shelf clips, you will gently slide in the hole and twist down to hold into place. Now your curve insulation is complete.